look what I just found. I just saw it. Now, it got some little markings on it. So, something's been eating it. There's also another. Look at this. Is there any more? No. Now I have this thing growing up. This tall sunflower here. That's why I plant them together so they can they can climb. But look, I just found myself some lunch. Thanks, mice. I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna get this corn later. And I have this uh, this watermelon also going up the corn. It's vining like crazy. There's one. Here's the other piece, and that's the third piece right there. It's coming along quite nicely. If I can get that wrapped around there. Have some tomatoes ready for harvest here. Check it out. A teddy bear sunflowers came up this year. Two of them. Cucumber. Here's another something vining. I don't even know where this is coming from technically, but it's, it's happening. Cupcake squash, cupcake squash. There's a tomato down here. That looks gorgeous. I'm gonna leave that for Theodora to get. Look at this. Some beautiful tomatoes there. And right beside that, I have a watermelon. That feels a little soft. I don't know if it's gonna make it. But it's there. Oh, look at that. Again, I'm going to let Theodora pull that off. More beauties. Look at that. I'll just plop that right there. There's some, somehow. I like I like when I like when the child pulls the fruit. Let me tell you a quick story. In life, in this journey, whatever you want to call it that we go through, we meet interesting people and we mile some genuine paths along the way. In doing so, I have a theory. If I travel to a place where the roses are abundant and they smell good, it's fragrant, they're beautiful, multicolored, yellows, reds, all spectrums of the sun. When I return from that journey, the saddest part for me would be to explain to you how beautiful it smelled or to describe the colors I witnessed. What I'd rather do is have you along with me for the journey. I don't want to tell you what I did. I want to do it with you. I want to have you by my side. I want to have us laughing at the same time, wowing at the same unexpected. Sharing hugs and laughter at the powerful moments and shedding tears at the difficult ones. So no, I'm not gonna pick these fruits. I'm gonna wait and be patient until my daughter arrives so we can do it together. But mice are mice and daddy's hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my soup while I sit and continue to contemplate and relish in the absence of confusion and be peaceful and joyous in all things. For this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it, regardless. Before signing out, I just wanna say, I love you, Dad. You have been a tremendous inspiration for me. At times, I didn't quite understand what you were doing, but as a man looking back, 
I understand so much more. Your sacrifices, your tolerance. It means so much to me now. And I've learned from it. And it's through you I find strength to be able to find knowledge and wisdom in what I'm going through now. So I thank you. And I love you. And I wish nothing but peace and blessings for that household. And as always, to my garden family, to my germs and my worms, and most of all, to my great papa. Peace. From the Garden of Theodora. And don't forget, please, subscribe or hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace from the Garden of Theodora.